to do it when we first start up a laser cutting machine every day? Is there a checking list we need to? Proper inspection will help us to avoid some problems that may occur. Today, we'll talk about the inspection steps for reference. First, we need to check whether there is dirt on the protective lenses. Dirty lenses will influence the cutting quality. It may be even worse to cause the damages to the inner cutting head or the laser source connector. Two ways to check the lenses. Number one, we can simply take the drawer out and see it directly. Number two, we can take a wet paper, wet paper, put it under the nozzle, 300 millimeters far away from the nozzle, there will be red spot on the paper. If there is black dots in the red spot, which means the lens is dirty, we need to clean or replace it. Pictures here tell the differences. We can see the second pictures shows the black dots. If you want to know more about the protective lenses, please check the video up here. It's the first video of the protective lenses series. Number two, we need to check whether the cutting nozzle in the laser beam is concentric. Concentric coaxial is one of the most important factors for cutting quality. We have talked about the details of the cutting nozzles. Check the video up here, you can find more about the cutting nozzles. Number three, we need to check whether the laser beam is bright out in average. The higher the wrong level of the laser beam spot, the higher of the average is bright and the better the cutting quality. There are two ways to check the circle of laser beam. First, we need to find a black photographic paper, put it below the cutting head around 300 millimeters from the cutting nozzle and we click laser. We can get the spot on the paper. Second way, if there is no such paper, we take off the nozzle and put a metal plate below, five to 10 millimeter away from the cutting head, laser. We can get the spot on the metal plate. The picture is here to show the differences. The spot should be the rounder, the better. If the laser spot is not round enough, which means there's dirt on the lower protective lens or the upper protective lenses or other lenses in the laser beam path, I mean inside of the cutting head. Number four, this tag is mainly for high power, like more than 6,000 watt. We need to find the extra zero focus position for high power laser cutting machines. There is zero focus sighting on the cutting head. We need to confirm the zero focus position to apply the cutting parameters and make the cutting process successfully. To find the zero focus position, we need to set the cutting head to 0.5 millimeters. Every 0.5 millimeters change, we should mark a line on the stainless steel plate. Here the picture we can see there are dozens of marking lines. Let's find the thinnest line. We can see it's over here. It should be the extra zero focus position. Attention here, the zero focus should be within the range minus one to positive one of the cutting head. If it has exceeded the range, we need adjust or replace the cutting head. Number five, we need to check the gas, especially the compressed air. We need to see the filters and whether the water is drained regularly. Do you have other issues on laser machines? You can write it down in the comment. Please subscribe me here, here, here. I will keep you posted when the new video is uploaded. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Bye.